morning everyone how are you doing um here doing another walk and this time i'm walking between two signal boxes the one at clipston west junction that we've just been looking at with this beautiful sunrise and we're heading off to the one at forsby colliery junction probably about three miles away um, we're going to take a bit of a scenic route through the fields towards sherwood pines and heading off back round to the signal box hopefully we might see a train on there today so this was the starting point of a well just down there was the starting point of a walk i did only last week and we headed off around the outskirts of clipston so as i say i think this is going to take me just a little over an hour which is all right during lockdown and i've come at the crack door before everybody else comes along so come with me get a cup of tea put your shoes on again see you further down I absolutely love the sunrise and I'm so pleased that I got up so early to come and include it in this walk so that obviously the sun will continue to rise the further east we go. Uh, just back there though, complete opposite of the sunrise is fly tipping. Just in them trees down there. Great big pile of it. Drawers, cabinets, children's toys. <laughs> and that absolutely does my head in. I'm sure it does you a lot as well. Best thing is though, they'd left their address in two different locations on a, a, it was a letter and there was one like flat pack parcel from DX on there. So that's getting sent off to Newark and Sherwood Council when I get back. Let's forget about that. So over here now, walk a couple of minutes, we'll be going over the River Morn which is just down there, so a little way over there. We're heading exactly in the direction of the sun in a moment. We'll cross over the railway line, the High Marlon Test Track, and head off a little way towards Sherwood Pines.
and all these like beautiful shots in the sunrise i've um exhausting the drone batteries a lot quicker than i'd hoped i've still got another one um so i'm going to save that for a little bit further down so back that way that's where we come from clipston junction if you remember at the beginning of the film there was a shot with a signal box at sunrise with the sun right behind a bunch of trees and that's that bunch of trees so the signal box is directly out of sight behind those edwin so station was a little way down there and the village is just over there now the actual line behind me can go weeks without anything running along it and it was something went down it yesterday i didn't know there was anything coming but there's something coming today as i said previously and i'm keeping an eye on it and it's bang on time at the minute hopefully the route i'm taking will get us there about 15 minutes before that arrives i don't know what it is so it's a surprise for everyone This bunch of trees in front of us, that's the outskirts of Centre Parks, the holiday village. We're going to take a bit of a left at the bottom and head off towards the busy A614. And then we'll bypass Rufford Park because I think it's closed right now with the COVID situation cracking off. Uh, so once around there, we're going down towards near where Ollerton Station was and then backtracking towards Forsby Signal Box. So yeah, so this is the driveway that you'd come up to enter Centre Parks. You, it's along that line of trees there. We're going to take this path, which is straight on. Um, a couple of videos coming up is I've just finished putting together the Stanley Moore Reservoir. That's an abandoned reservoir on the outskirts of Buxton. So that one's ready to go. That'll come after this one. So probably this coming Saturday. Uh, next up is going to be a railway, abandoned railway video uh, looking at the remains of Colic Yard in Nottingham. Uh, some nice bits of track infrastructure still down. Uh, so that used to be one of the biggest in Europe, I believe. So interesting for you to see what remains of that. Um, and there's still about another 14, 15 regular videos after that. I'm just not sure what's coming next. So, A614 about three minutes down here we'll get across that and see what we can see of Rufford Park so that's the A614 cross safely it still seems pretty busy at times I mean I pretty much got straight over but it still seems pretty heavy so we'll be heading towards Calverton and Nottingham uh, in that direction mentioning Calverton I did do that walk about four weeks ago so that's another disused railway walk which will come up in the next month or so and that direction off towards Ollerton. Trying to think one of the railway walks I did, what we haven't put out yet. Uh, the Baton branch between Baton Junction and Spinkill Tunnel, that's another one. I'm sure there's something else, I can't think what it is. Uh, Blid of Colliery branch, that might be the one I'm thinking of. Still think there's something else. Anyway, we'll find out eventually, won't we?
pecker up there, let's listen. Did you hear that? That's again we've heard one. And do it again. Ha, <laughs> brilliant. Right, let's carry on. So over that direction, we'd be heading off towards Blidworth or Blidworth. Uh, over there, there's another railway, which is local to me, which I haven't done yet. I think it's called the Mid Knots Railway. And it came from Ollerton and headed off towards Farnsfield, which again is another line I've not walked. Um, the old Mansfield Southwell line. And a good chunk of it is available to walk from Farnsfield through Kirklington and on to Southwell itself where the race course is. So now we've turned about. Now this way is heading off towards Rufford Park. I just checked for this um, train that's apparently coming. Uh, it's gone, it was running time to time. Now it's showing 17 minutes early. And I'm about 20 blooming minutes away from where I plan to be. Couldn't believe it, even 20 minutes ago it was showing like it was just one minute late. It has to reverse somewhere to come from Shirebrook Junction. It looks like they've obviously done it a bit quicker than anticipated. So I'm hoping I can get near it but I can't guarantee that I'll get as close to it as I know, but probably about a quarter of a mile away from the railway line. If we look in front, it's just roughly past where those pylons are. So we'll get alongside it. I was just hoping to get it at the Forsby signal box, but oh well, we can't win them all, can we? So just coming up to Old Ollerton now where the station was, and then we'll backtrack along the railway line towards Forsby Colliery Junction signal box. Now I'm pretty convinced I've not missed it, so I'm right next to the line now. A bit too low down to see it properly if it was to come now though. But we're on the incline, uh, heading towards Edwin Stone and Forsby Box. Um, the thing is, once it leaves the Nottingham to Workshop line at Shirebrook, the data doesn't get updated as it comes along here, so it's pretty much guesswork. So you're pretty much adding on or subtracting the time from the last timing point. Now, I don't think it's going to be a track machine because, oh, a bit out of breath. Uh, um, it had to do a turnaround, you know, a crew change at the other, you know, from one end to the other. Uh, time for 60 mile an hour, apparently. So it could be anything. Let's hope it's something good. 
Okay, after some seriously fast walking, we're here. And it's not here yet. There's staff inside the signal box, so that's always a good sign. Now it should stop here for a kind of like token exchange. So we should be able to have a little look at what it actually is. So right now I'm currently stood waiting for it. I can't hear anything. So I've got here on time. There's workmen and staff waiting down there, so we ain't missed it. So we're facing Edwinstone, just a little way over there. I can't hear anything yet, but hopefully it's something good, eh? After all that, it was just one of those, um, is it a multi-purpose vehicle? But it's still something. It was nice to capture something, wasn't it? Um, right, that's it then. I'm just walking down here, about 10 minutes walk from home. It's took me a little over an hour, so that's all right, isn't it? Uh, as I say, keep yourself safe, look after yourself. Thank you for watching, comment below. I'll see you in the next one.